Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. Get a lot of questions about, hey, I'm trying to print something, and it comes out where you need a microscope to read it. And I ask them, what are you trying to print, a Word document, a picture or something? And they're like, no, an email. And I'm like, is it a webmail? And they're like, yeah, it's a Yahoo or a Gmail. And I'm like, this is what's going on here. You're trying to print the entire web page, and you really don't want the entire web page. Because if I go to, I'm using Chrome right now, and if I go to the browser's print function and I do a preview, it's going to show me all the stuff that I don't want. Why? Because it's trying to compress the entire web page into a portrait. And the web pages are laid out typically landscape, printers are printing in portrait. I don't know who made that rule, but that's just what's going on. And yeah, you would need kind of a microscope or at least a magnifying glass to see what's on this screen. So you don't want to do that. And what they don't know is that in um, each one of these emails, let me see if I can find something here. This is the account I use for all my junk mail here. <laughs> so now everybody knows it. But um, here's the deal. Here, you go to uh, open any one of your emails. I open this one from Freelancer. Now, again, if I wanted to print this with the normal Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer print icon, it's going to give me the whole page and everything. So, yeah, it's going to be really small, and I'm going to have an advertisement out there. And I don't want all that junk on there. I just want the email for whatever reason. Um, so I would click on each message has this more thing. And this is the newer Yahoo Mail interface. It's been around for a couple of years now, and a lot of people don't know how to use it. I think it used to be a print icon on top, but it's gone now. It's actually under more because they assume that most people don't want to print emails, but a lot of people do. So click on more, and oh, what's that? There's a print option here. Now, this is different from the one that's in your browser's native print option. This is in print the email only kind of thing. And then what it'll do is it'll come up with a pop-up window. And then you have to click print again on the upper left-hand corner here, and it'll give you a preview if your browser is set up for that. And look how much bigger the type is here. You can actually read all this stuff. And uh, so that's what that's for. It prints just the email. You can notice it's, it took the, uh, the menu on the left-hand side, all the advertisements and junk on the right. It's all gone now. So that's beautiful, and that's exactly what you want to do when you print in webmail. It converts the portrait screen into... I'm sorry, it converts the landscape, the wide, stretched-out screen into a portrait mode so that you can easily read it and then file it away and do whatever you want to do with it. So that's how to print in, um, in, the, in the online webmail programs. Don't use the browser's print function. Look in each one of the programs and open the email and look for the More button. There should be a print icon or something on here. I believe Gmail is similar. We have a different video for that, so check that out. Um, but don't use the, uh, the, the browser's print function. Use the print function within the email message itself, and you'll have a much better formatted email. My name's Chuck Fresh. I'm the PCGYN. Please like this video and subscribe. And uh, that'll help us keep making videos and uh, giving you free tips and tricks for the rest of my natural life and maybe beyond. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.